is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here and today we're doing an unboxing of DC Comics Multiverse figures here. Um, so of course this is the whole set that builds the King Shark. Um, so of course it's one of the figures that of course you obviously, obviously see at the end. So we have, which is hard to see with the layout we have here, but we have um, the uh, Flash, I can't remember what his name is. But he's like the old Flash, so like Jay Garrick Flash up here. Then we have Zoom. Uh, then we have Jim Gordon and Batman. So this is from the New 52, like, or the, I forget what they call it. Um, but it's like the New 52 or Rebirth comic series. Um, so Jim Gordon, Batman. Then, of course, we have Batgirl Burnside, which is also with the same series as that. Then we have um, Hawkman from DC's Legends of Tomorrow. And then um, the Joker from Batman the Dark Knight uh, comic book. And so, of course, they each come with pieces to build King Shark. So let's go ahead and get them open. And then we'll go through each one. Okay guys, so we're back now. So I got these all out of the box. And so we'll go ahead and start with the first one. So we're just going through numbers 1 through 6. So in whatever order they just have them labeled as. And then we'll go through. And of course this set doesn't all like correlate or go together. Because usually with sets like this. With the Marvel and the this one being DC and stuff like that. They try to like put them all together. So like I had the um, Wonder Woman set and stuff. But this one they just kind of throw in a bunch of random characters. So first up we have the... Um, I think they have a label as Earth 2 Flash, so this is from the um, CW show Flash, and this is the Jay Garrick, so it's supposed to be like the original um, Flash, so it's the like older guy, older Flash version, and then he has like his um, red leather suit with the, of course, lightning bolt, green pant or green, <laughs> blue pants, and red shoes, and then he comes with his hat, his like signature hat thing that he wears, I don't know exactly what it's called or anything like that. But he has his hat, which will probably fall off. And then he also comes with um, some flat hands. So like, so they're supposed to be like this, you, if he's running, you know, kind of thing. So you can switch those out for his hands to make it so like he's, you know, running and stuff like that instead of the fist. And then you can also put these like lightning bolts around his arms and stuff. So for when he's running and everything. So it looks like he's running fast, you know, has like the um, speed force type stuff coming off of him and everything. So that is him, and so each of these um, DC boxes have like a description thing. So it says, the mysterious speedster, speedster from Earth 2 claiming to be our hero, but is he really who he claims to be? So that's what his box says. And then he comes with the right hand of King Shark. So of course, King Shark is a shark, so he has a fin on his hand and stuff. And so I'll go ahead and just sit this to the side to be able to get all the pieces to build that. So that was... Um, the Jay Garrick Flash from the Flash TV show, and I like when he has his hat on. I think he looks a lot better than without it, but I can't get the stay on. Um, but that's the Jay Garrick Flash, so we'll move on to the next one, which is also goes from the same Flash show, which is Zoom. So he's the evil bad guy in the show, um, for at least some of the series and stuff like that so he's like um an all blacked out version and he has like a weird face on him you can see he's got like a closed up mouth but it's kind of like all stretched and everything so it's kind of weird and then he also has like um four stuff coming off of him like if he'd run real fast and everything um coming off of his back and then he comes with additional things just like the jay garrick did um that you can put on his hands and stuff to make him be like he's running fast and has like fire stuff coming off of him and we'll go ahead and read <coughs> his stuff. And it says, Evil nemesis to the Flash, capable of superhuman speed, aims to destroy all connected to the speed force. So that is Zoom. And then his parts for King Shark is we have his, like, waist, I guess you'd call it, waist crotch area. So we'll stick that. But he also comes with the head, which looks awesome, which, of course, is a shark, like King Shark. Um, so this is what he comes with. And so he has a mouth that opens, like, rawr. And he'll eat you like rah rah rah. It's like Jaws. Do 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 da. Um, so we have that as his head. And so that was the number two being Zoom. Next up now, we have the Jim Gordon Batman from the comic book series. And so this is when like uh, Batman or Bruce Wayne disappears, and so Jim Gordon takes over as Batman to be the protector of the city. And so we have the Batman there. Then we have an additional head, which is Jim Gordon's head, which in this he looks really young. And he has like, he shaved his head into like a mohawk thing and stuff to um, as a disguise for um, one part of the comic and stuff like that. So you have the head that you could switch out with that. 
He also comes with this gun. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. It looks kind of like a grapple gun, almost. But it can um, go into the holster here on the side of his leg somehow. I don't know exactly how it goes in there. Obviously, I know it goes in there. But how for sure, I don't see. Oh, there we go. So it goes in there. And then we also... Oh, first I'll read the thing. And it says, after, be, after the death death of Batman, Jim Gordon dons the mechanical suit to become Gotham City's latest hero. And so, he does have a big, like, blue suit, and he wears this on the inside, but that's, like, just his normal Batman suit. And then he also comes with the right leg of King Shark. So we've got pretty much the whole right side of his body done. And so that was the Jim Gordon Batman from the comic book series. And then, similar to that, we have the Batgirl of Burnside, uh, or the Batgirl, whatever, from the comic book series. And so this, of course, to me, was the Batgirl that uh, kind of ruined the Batgirl comics for me. Because up until they switched it to this art, and um, it's kind of like a high school story now, even though I think she's in college. But it's like, it's very high schoolish, and has to do with a lot of, like, texting and Facebook type stuff and everything. Um, and very, like, boyfriend, girlfriend type stuff and everything. So it just kind of killed it for me but this is bad girl burnside so she's in it's supposed to be like a purple suit but here it's like a um, navy blue type thing with all her purple um, bat girl stuff on it of course she still has like her um, original cow and stuff and her red hair coming out of the back because it's barbara gorn so jim gorn's daughter then she's got her like red like rubber boot type things almost look like rain shoes and then she comes with a um yellow battering which i don't know which hand it even goes in if it does. And then this gray thing, which I assume is to be a cell phone. I don't really know for sure. And, um, of course, there's no hints on the box or anything. But I assume it's just like a, um, a cell phone, like an iPhone type thing or something like that. And then, of course, the bat a ring, as I said. And then her box says, The alter ego of Barbara Gordon, a modern heroine now living in Gotham's hip... Um, border district burnside and then she comes with the left arm of king shark so rah, he's gonna grab him this king shark is gonna be huge and awesome so that was the bat girl next up we have whoom, hawkman so this is from uh the dc shows of course he was I forget why he's actually starting but he's in like legends of tomorrow and stuff like that um like that now so if you've seen the show, you've seen the Hawkman and stuff, and he looks super cool with all his armor and everything. He's got wings that actually expand out pretty far. I don't know exactly how to do it, maybe like that or something. So for him to fly, so like, ah, ah, type thing. And then his wings also bend back and stuff, so you can, like, close them down and he can, like, stand and stuff. Um, and so, of course, he has his helmet, which looks awesome, kind of like a hawk and stuff. And to go with that, he has his mace. So it's just like the stick with the ball and then with spikes and everything that Hawkman is famous for using. And so you can just kind of stick it in his hand maybe like that. And then now, he, now he can fly around and hit people. Pow. And, that, and then he comes with the left leg of King Shark. Oh, and I forgot to read his stuff with that leg over there. It says, reincarnated Egyptian prince with powers of strength and flight. So yeah, I remember in the show it's like him and uh, Hot Girl were um, Egyptian people. Until um, someone ended up like killing them, then they like kind of transform over time into each different or to new people. Like they get transported into new people, and then they have to try and find each other every time they're reborn and stuff like that. And so that is Hawkman. Be cool if Hot Girl goes with it. But the last one of this set of building King Shark is the Joker from the Dark Knight Returns comic book series. So, of course, the famous uh, t um, Frank Miller comic. And so here we have Joker after, um, I believe it's after he's, like, coming out of, like, a prison in, uh, like, the insane asylum and stuff, and he's supposed to, like, fix now. And so he's getting this nice suit and everything, and he goes on, like, a talk show and everything to talk about how he's changed and stuff. So he's in this nice white suit with, like, blue shoes. <laughs> kind of look funny. Um, and he's got the matching blue, uh, like under butt shirt, button up shirt thing, and then of course Joker with his green hair and white face. But 
he comes with a gun so you can put that in his hand and stuff to be able to shoot people and then he also comes with a knife but it's kind of like mint and stuff which is the bad thing about plastic stuff being in boxes is that it gets bent and everything but I'm sure we can probably fix that to get straight out but then he also comes with this which is kind of cool it's a uh, when he becomes like mad joker and stuff like that again and turns back to himself you have this head you can go with but it also comes with this batarang piece that you can stick in his face that you can kind of see there I'll, I put it upside down because that's the only way I could get it to stay in was upside down so I don't know if it goes that way or not um, but I saw the piece and I'm like it looks like a broken batwing I wonder what it's for and then I saw the hole on his face and his eye so I stuck it in and I remember uh, Batman did throw one in the comic book series and uh, stick one in his eye right before they killed or he killed him and stuff so that is the Joker and then of course he comes oh I'll read the box first I keep forgetting the box says maniacal enemy of Batman who goes on a brutal crime spree to draw out his nemesis so again that was the Joker from the Dark Knight Returns and he comes with the final piece of King Shark which is the upper body um, part so the chest and everything so we now have all the parts to King Shark so let's go ahead and move Joker out of the way here we'll kind of somewhat assemble King Shark over here so again he's gonna be a pretty tall figure um, so I'll go ahead and pause it and I'll put him all together and then we'll bring it right back okay guys so I got King Shark all together here and he is a big boy um, so he's super massive as you see his arms and his legs are just huge he's got giant feet and then he's got his ginormous shark head which again has the mouth that can chomp chomp everything and he's got his fin on the back his gills and everything and he just looks super awesome he has like ripped up jeans and everything and so again he's super tall he was actually pretty easy to put together I thought with it being as big as he is it'd be more difficult but we have him all together and just so you can get a reference Joker's probably oops, the tallest out of the set and everything so he's pretty um, big compared to the Joker and stuff like that height wise and everything so there's a pretty big difference there so he's pretty ginormous which I mean he is in the comics and everything and stuff too um, but of course King Shark has been featured in like the Flash show and stuff so you um, can see him there and stuff to know what he's supposed to be like and everything and of course read him in comics and all that but that's going to be it for the DC Multiverse um, build a figure King Shark set of course with all the different uh, comic fi figures and stuff like that but if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more and we will see you next time